Hi, my name is Ms. Carriger, and I teach second and fourth grade, for those of you that don't know me. I'm going to be reading Too Many Carrots by Katie Hudson. I thought it would be a nice book since Easter's coming up. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch! Ah! Crash! Oh, dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up to the tree. Whoa! Grown tortoise and bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Crash! I'm so sorry, bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, replied. Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash! Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great! I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered. Squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble at his, as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah! Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. And sharing made everything better.